Yo, welcome back guys. So I've got David Ryan Harris. I wanted to break this down for a while. I already made a perfect video about by this guy, but the uh, the audio was doubled up. Really annoyed me. If you enjoy this video, if you want deep singing knowledge that you'll get nowhere else, please subscribe and fuck me. Pound that thumbs up button until there is a fucking dent in it. Please. David Ryan Harris, what's the dude doing? Baritone, great singer. Or, oh, let's try. Ooh, loving that. Right, let me just swap this round because I realize I've got my cables all mixed up, so I can't hear anything I'm doing, which means it's gonna be awful. So, give me a sec. Oh. We're starting in this light little heady spot. Some people call it falsetto, some people call it legit head voice. But um, he gets right in there, very well coordinated. You can tell it's well coordinated because he straight tones it and then he adds vibrato later on. Which means the chords are together and coordinating efficiently. If that type of sound for you is <laughs> is pushed through like this, it's wrong. He's doing it like this, he's able to find uh, 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 closure and coordination up there. So you could do it like this. When it's coordinated in the right way like that, it will connect to chest and it will feel in control. So to give you an example, That's the direction he's going, yeah? It's uh, it's hooty, but it's together. If I, call, if I keep the chords together and just keep releasing them. Then I'm never gonna push. I'm never gonna push. I might get to the top of what the muscles can do that day, but I'm never gonna push. So listen to where this verse starts. Typically with, with this guy, David Ryan Harris, he compresses very, pretty evenly in that kind of talkative mid-range compression. And then he trails off at the end of phrases. Ah, uh, ah, uh, pushes a little bit more air through. Listen, he does it better than me. Saturday before the sun is I'm out the door. On my way, I... On my way, I... There's a little bit more air through there at the end of the phrases. We got it here. Catch the two, catch the two, and then the thirty-five. Catch the two, and then the thirty-five. And by six fifteen. I'm on the train. I'm on the train. So he's. So listen to this. This is the key of chest. Is it doesn't have to have a lot of pressure behind it. And he's doing that here. When he's doing that last line, listen. And by, and by it's there. And by, uh -uh. and by six fifteen. I'm on the train. I'm on the train. I'm by six fifteen. I'm on the train. Uh, 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 uh. Listen to how gentle the closure is here. If I talk to you here and then I sing, uh, it's right where he talks. And this is where people get confused when they think about chest and singing is a lot of the time for these singer-songwriter types, it's so conversational that literally you can take your speaking voice, you can feel the pressure of that, and you can translate that into pitches. And that's really what he's doing in the verses here. It's so conversational, it's so smooth, and it's so soothing, because it's not, 
It's not this. It's not Saturday before the sun is up. I'm out the door. I'm on my way up. It's not that. It's not that. That's compressed. It's kind of correct in a sense. It's not straining. But it just it doesn't have the flow and the conversational side to it. It doesn't have the uh, connection. It feels like I'm singing at you. I'm not communicating to you and with you. Boom. Fucking reality bomb drop there. Now he kind of he kind of just squeezes in a little bit on miles just to emphasize a bit 30 miles, to the 30, 30 miles 30 miles until the final stop the final stop until I had to walk a few more and he does the same there on the still I have and still I have to walk a few more to still I have to walk a few more. I want to say he does the same again. What I mean is, he is he's leaning in into that on the first part of that the first line of that verse, and then as he goes into the second line of the verse, uh, he backs off a little bit. So there are compression shifts in this, but they're very subtle. Somebody without an ear is just not going to pick up on them because they're going to think, oh, it's chest. It's just chest. Let's go. It's just chest. Ah, it's not just chest, you f***ing maniac. It is not just chest. And I'm a big fan of this guy. Like, I love his singing because it's a great example for singer-songwriters. Do this. A thousand times do this. He leans in there. And oh, what a, and oh, what, and oh, what a thrill. He leans in and he kills it because he's trying to build into something in this mid, in this bridge here. He's trying to build towards a chorus. Something's going to happen. We don't know what yet. Let's find out. Okay. So he goes in there. Thrill to find, to find, to finally be with you. He flips, I guess you could say, but it's a conscious one. He's not doing that uh, because he has to. It's a stylistic choice he's making. But keep that in mind. And when I see so he builds up into this chorus, which is all going to be falsetto now. A good way to tell that it's in control is this. Look how small and low volume he's able to get it. I will just walk on. I will just walk on, walk on, uh, 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 walk on through. It's so tiny. It's so small. It's so small and in control. Often I say to people, look, when you sing higher, you need to think smaller, not higher. It, the, it kind of feels tiny as you get up there. And the higher you go, the smaller it becomes. Rather than thinking higher, uh, higher, I'm going high. This dude's chill, he's relaxed. You know that he's already proved he can make it small, he's in control, so he's swelling and leaning in a little bit to that sound. But the point is, he's choosing. Stylistically, he's choosing. He's not backed into a corner. Okay, I like this. Let's be very, very specific what's happening on this line. He's in that, the first part of this line, he's in that falsetto spot. And that's why, and that's why I And then, all oh, this mix, chest, whatever you want to call it, there's more compression. All oh, this, all of a sudden he dumps in there. 
Oh, this. But then he backs off at the end of the phrase. Listen. You. All this way for you. All of this is that nice heady release that we're looking for on exercises like a it's all that those types of exercises are going to lead you towards Something like that. And what I'm feeling there is uh, 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 uh. I'm here, I'm kind of feeling that on top of the tone. Um, and I don't know if that's how he's doing it. You tell me in the comments, you give me some tips about distortion. Tell me what you think about how is he doing this little section. Now I like the way it's a choice. He backs straight back off. If you were doing that through the whole song, it would be annoying. But the fact that it's just for a little touch, just a little flicker. Most of the rest of this song is just going to be repeat and riffing on the basic things that I've covered so far. Let's go to this last bit because this shows you he's making a choice. Earlier on when he dumped down his chest and kind of got a little bit of a, a more aggressive with it. Listen to how he takes that same phrase, the same words later on in the song. He takes it different here. On that one, he keeps the compression even and he does it no problem at all. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well performed. Very well performed. Very well. Very, 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 very well. I'm a big fan of this guy. Hopefully I've given you enough little bits and bobs in this video to give you some ideas about how to apply some of the things that he's using, some of the techniques that he's using. Um, I'll leave it at that guys. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this guy's voice. Tell me what you... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Pound that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want deep singing knowledge. And I will see you in another video. Take care guys. Bye!